Today I'm going to show you how to tap into a 12 volt key on uh, power supply in a 2015 plus Cadillac Escalade. This can also be used for many GM vehicles. Uh, you'll have to do your reference for that. I will show you how to uh, get in behind the rear view mirror and put a pin tap into the uh, connector. So I've already been into it. Uh, to find my voltage, but I'm going to kind of give you guidance on how to uh, get access. So pull your mirror down out of the way. You're going to reach either with a pry tool, plastic pry tools, or your fingers and push in or pull out slightly on the edges, and this will pop off. Uh, take a little time with it. You also have this piece of plastic here, and you can be real easy uh, to pull it off. And um, just takes a little bit of a wiggle. That comes right off. And then you're able to pull this down. Now, what you're going to be getting to is the connector that is closest. It's 10 pins, and it's closest to the driver. Now, these other pins are not going to be used, but what you want to do is just reach right behind with a small finger, push downward, and pull out until this connector comes. You don't have a whole lot of slack in the pigtail, so it's going to be real hard to tap in with any other splice joint. So I recommend you building some pin connectors or buying them off of some uh, online site. You can use uh, pin connectors, look them up. There's lots of do-it-yourself, basically. I'll show you what those look like, but we're going to take those pin connector, we're going to stab it in to, if you flip this over to where the uh, connector has its, um, <clears throat> sorry, its latch, you will be going into pin 2 and pin 5, and in our case it's a purple gray, or violet gray, and then a black wire, and we are going to pin into those. Uh, the way we're going to pin in is using pin connectors. And this is our harness with a pin connector I made up. And these are just needles that we solder onto the end of the wire and shrink wrap. That's how easy it is. You're going to decide um, how you want to uh, make that up. You can splice in, but I do not find enough length. So if you know how to solder, you can do this yourself. So take your 12 volt, plug it into the purple or violet gray. See how it slid right in beside it. We'll also do that with our negative ground. We'll go in on the black, slides in right beside the wire, and they're very, very snug in most situations. If it's not, just go back in, find another spot, slide in right beside it. If you need to, feel that you need to tape it, you can. That's that easy. Plug it right back into the connector where it came back. Put your wires back in in a reverse order. Tuck that away, and when you power on the vehicle, that should give us accessory to power on, say, our radar detector. I'll show you that here in just a moment. Okay, I've completed the install, doing the pins into the connector, and we have also um, tucked our wires, extra wires, back up in uh, the cavity. Uh, I'm using a fused harness. I recommend that. Um, you can purchase those from normally your radar detector company. But let me show you how this works. So here's the connector I installed. I'll plug this in and it should come on and say powering up. But because I did not have the car on, we have no voltage. Now I'm going to hit the button on the Escalade and it's going to start and you'll hear this power up. Here we go, powering on, starting the vehicle. So, works only when the vehicle's running. X alert. All right. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up, please. Thank you.